Hi guys, Oliver here. Today I'm in the beautiful Elan Valley in central Wales. It's well known for its array of dumps and reservoirs which are supporting the west and midwest with drinking water. Well, I've arrived here about half an hour before sunrise, which should give me enough time for a little snack before I go to my first shooting position. It's also a very calm day, overcast sky, pretty flat, so let's see how we're gonna deal with that. Um, but maybe there are also a few calm shots in it, maybe some nice reflection, we're gonna see. As I said, I have a few things in mind, but mainly I wanna let myself drift through the day, and I'm gonna take you with me. As you can see it's a pretty calm morning, um, not too much action going on in the sky but uh, as you see here in the, the water it's also pretty calm due to no wind which makes an amazing reflection and uh, here's that little whatever it is, the maintenance part for the dome and uh, yeah, can't see any forbidden signs so I see if I can make anything out of it. First shot of the morning is already done. The next one I'm trying to incorporate this lovely S bend here, which leads into the dome, into the shot with a nice reflection of the Wolf Tower, before I'm going on the other side where the sky slowly begins to build some texture. By the way, often people ask me why I'm not using a smaller tripod while I'm carrying that large heavy thing with me. I mean, this here explains it pretty well. Sometimes you just need to get above that wall and you need to have that little extra height. Yeah, and that tripod gives it to me. Hope you can hear me, and as you can see, I haven't got any filters attached yet. The reason is, we are still in low light conditions, and uh, the second reason is we have that triangle here. There is absolutely no need for a graduated filter. I rather do a little bracketing and uh, put them together in post-process. That should be enough. All right, now we are on the other side. And uh, you might be able to see it here, the water is really, really calm. The only thing is, on the other side over there, there's a little stream flowing in and uh, making these little waves here. But the reflections of the sky, of the clouds, and uh, these, yeah, I don't know how to call that, these beautiful shapes of the mountains in the background, I think there might be something in. This time, we're doing it a little longer and uh, we're using some neutral density filters. Let's go. Okay, and here is how I do it. So, first, I'm checking out my composition. Um, I want to have a pretty centered one with the waterline in the center of the image. And I set my focus point. Once that's done, I'm simply turning the autofocus off on the camera. Now, let's check the metering. We have about half a second on F14. Yeah, with a six stop filter. Which I'm putting in should give me 30 second exposure and fire the shot and wait until it's done.
good. Now I'm checking the result and as well as the histogram and it's a little bit on the dark side here. So I'm simply taking a second shot where I take it, yeah, one stop overexposed simply to get some detail in the darks and uh, that's enough material to blend in. By the way, right here there is no polarizer filter on for two reasons. First of all, the light's coming straight from the front of the camera, so the polarizer won't have any effect at all, anyway. And the second reason is I do not want to kill these beautiful reflections here in the water. They're our main thing of the shot. Okay, here we go. This time we have the histogram a little further to the right, which gives us enough texture in the shadows. Yeah. That should work well. Let's see at home. So, this is it from the first stop today. It's uh, the Garek Du and Kaban Kochdom. Please forgive me. Nobody really knows how to pronounce these Welsh names. Time to pack the stuff back together and uh, then we are off to our next destination which is gonna be the biggest reservoir in the valley the so-called Clairvan Reservoir and the Clairvan Dam. I'm still hoping it's overflowing because there's a particular reason why I want to go there and you're gonna see soon. Well, we are now at the Clairvan Dam and uh, can you hear this? Can you hear the noise? No, I'm not talking about the sheep, I am talking about the water. Exactly, I can't hear it either, and the reason for that is pretty disappointing. Look at it. So, this is the view I was hoping to get, but unfortunately the dam isn't overflowing anymore. Yeah, it's pretty pointless taking the camera out today here at this point. I might do something else because there, can you see it on top in the corner? There is a viewpoint. And uh, I might go up there and see if I can get uh, maybe a panorama from there. Well, I'm now on top of the Clairon Dam here behind me. Oh, there. As you can see, no overflowing, which is pretty disappointing. On the other hand, I mean, this is a viewpoint, and uh, the viewpoint is the view is pretty amazing. Let me show you. rock formations but as you know what I always say a nice view does not make an appealing photograph and that really doesn't attract me here maybe it's a light I don't quite know um, yeah leave the camera in the car but uh, I still have an idea but before we go there and hoping that that particular dam is overflowing Let's go to another point, another area, where I haven't been before, only driving by, but uh, this time, let's have a stop and see if there is a photo in it. time I drive by this road I think one day I have to stop and see if I can get a shot of this island with a nice reflection. Well today might be the day even though the sky has zero texture in it pretty flat let's see. Here we go, today is really a day for reflections. As you see, there is zero clouds in the sky, there is no wind, no nothing, and the water is like a mirror. I'd like to show you around. I really don't have to fake anything. Shame is, there's just a few centimeters missing for the dumps to overflow. There might be an opportunity from this point to take a shot of that valve tower. 
Let's try and see if we can get it. Well, that was very nice so far. It's a beautiful day, calm day. It's not raining and we are in Wales. Who would have believed that? Yeah, but uh, the main reason I came here was actually overflowing dumps. So far I've been disappointed and I have only one more chance left. I'm going to have a little break now and then uh, we see what's going to happen at that place. Well, and then finally came across this little cascade here and I think it would have been a crime not to stop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is another shot in it. I think that's the case for a six stop and diesel here today. There's my little stopper. And I'm starting with the first shot, 15 seconds. And see how the result goes. Yeah, I think I can do it a little longer. Let's do F14 and 30 seconds. So yeah, this is pretty much how I take my waterfall shots. And uh, I got the one from this side here. Now I'm grabbing my gear, go on the other side and uh, try a different angle, a slightly different composition. And uh, we're done on that spot too. <laughs> Enough playing around with waterfalls because we are here for a dam and uh, let's see, I have one more option, one more choice, cross fingers, there is some overflowing going on. Alright, we are here at the Elan Valley Visitor Center now and I don't know, can you already hear that noise? And I'm turning around, yes, the dam is overflowing, this is what we are here for. I know there is a bridge over there, I hope it is accessible, so let's walk over there, find out. Bridge, and it seems uh, access is available. Not a lot of people around. I'm gonna get right in the middle of it. It looks like this is one of these days. The entire morning I was looking for a dump that's still overflowing. Now, as I finally found one, I don't really. I, mean, I don't know. Is it the dump itself? Is it the scenery? Is it the light? Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. And. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter really. But let's not waste the opportunity to give you a quick demonstration on uh, what effect the use of different filters has on flowing water. So I'm simply going to take a series of shots using different filters resulting in different exposure times. Why don't you have a look and you decide what effect you like the most. All right, that's it. Got all the shots, I hope. <laughs> The truth will be revealed at home on the big screen of the computer. So, <clears throat> time to go back to the car. Well, I'm back home now. This is how it happens sometimes. You're up for some real drama, loads of flowing water, overflowing dumps. And what you get instead is calmness, serenity, and some uh, totally unexpected, wonderful reflections around the dumps. I think I adapted well to the situation and in all honesty I'm not complaining, I am quite happy with the results we got today. Well if you have any questions uh, or if you just want to tell me how awesome my videos are, use the comment section. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, now is the time to hit that button. Thanks for watching, bye for now and I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon.